So what you'll need to have a container delivered is something to put the container on if you don't already have somewhere flat. What you can use is a 6x6 piece of timber, railroad ties, or anything similar to keep the container a little bit off the ground and to try to make it as level as possible. A few things that you'll have to think about before you get a container delivered is to plan the truck route and placement in advance. Tell the company that you ordered the container from what side you'd like the doors to face, towards the front or towards the rear. I placed a link in the description explaining everything that you need to know before you get a container delivered if you guys want to check that out. drop it right here in front of the other two containers so that we can work on it before we put it on the foundation. So he's just adjusting uh, where he's going to put it. We have to put it as close to the bank right there that we can because we have limited space on where the crane is going to go. Getting another container delivered today. We have a 45 foot coming right now. It's at the top of the driveway. So the 45 foot is gonna come and sit right here and be kind of like in this area. The, one of the last pieces to the puzzle. <laughs>
A few things that you'll need for crane day are shackles for the corners and some sort of rope or tie so you can move the container once it gets up in the air. And maybe, if you're lucky, some friends to help you out. <laughs> the access where you're trying to place the container and the site location will dictate what crane or technique to use. There's a couple different ways that you could go about doing it. It really just depends on your situation and what will work best for you. I've included a link in the description that explains a couple different techniques if you'd like to check that out. What we did for our crane day was we used shackles for the corners of the container to connect to the container so the crane can lift the container and we tied a rope to the bottom corner casting so that once the container gets up in the air we can guide it into its place. So the crane is here. We're gonna move this container right here over there. It's very stressful and very scary. We'll see how it goes. This is so scary. Almost there. Well, we did it! Um, it was rainy this morning and now it's not and it's like 100 degrees. It's really fucking warm. So, yeah, enjoying the sun, checking everything out, that everything went well with the drop today. We're gonna start to work on uh, cutting out the holes for the windows and the doors and work on the reinforcements and removing the rust and painting and all that good stuff and go from there.